Okay, this is May 31st, 2022 here in Kitchener, Ontario, Zone 5. And I'm just out here uh, harvesting some salad greens. I've already done most of the harvest, but let's go look around the garden and we can look at what I was harvesting from. So first of all, there's uh, a few little containers here where I've rescued some volunteer lettuce. And this is just as I'm clearing other beds, um, you know, I want to put something in and I don't want to just throw away a healthy lettuce plant. So I put a bunch of them in this pot here and I managed to harvest some lettuce greens from that. And similarly in that little container. Um, from my collection of nursery plants, I was able to take some of this basil. So I've topped all of this red reuben. I've taken all the tips off of that. Some of the tips off of the, uh, I think that's called Genovese basil and the Thai basil. And, you know, it's not supposed to be necessarily a, a herb salad, a herb salad, but I like to just throw herbs, uh, parsley, basil in with my, uh, in with my salad greens. Um, so we're looking here at these onions here. Uh, as the leaves on the onions start to flop over and brown, I will take some of those and put them in my salad greens. I don't think I did any today. These are all looking very healthy, so there's nothing to really take. Um, from these sections over here, you know, I didn't get into, I didn't touch my beets, and when we look at the Swiss chard, we'll see that it's not very good, but there's, this is just a volunteer lettuce that has come up in a weird spot. There's another volunteer lettuce in a weird spot. This is all beets here, and I'm not touching those. Uh, mustard greens. This section here had a whole lot of mustard greens and mizuna. This is mizuna here, this sort of feathery leaf. It's kind of a, that's a kind of a mustard, very mild. Um, this is a Japanese mustard and it's quite, you know, a little bit spicy. It's very nice. I love it. Here's a plant that I did not harvest from and you can see big beautiful leaves on there. Almost, almost the size of my hand. In this section here, now I'm going to need to clear, you can see over here, I've got my row of tomatoes in at the back there. The, uh, the final garden setup is taking shape. So that row of tomatoes is in. Now in this section, you can see I've set out a little reservation for the beds on this side. And that should all be tomatoes, all going along there. That is all going to have to be tomatoes. So I need to clear out the things that are in here. In this section, I've got uh, tatsoi. And the tatsoi is starting to bolt. And actually, you can see I've just snipped off there. As a way of uh, dealing with this, I don't want to throw necessarily the tops of these in with my salad greens. But what I'll do is just, if it's bolting, I'll just take that. There's a kind of a, a bolting tip, just barely bolting. And I'll just take that, and that's a snack for me as I'm going through the garden. And it's good, Tatsoi is nice. Now in this section I've got radishes. And they haven't done well for me. And they are definitely starting to bolt. So I think I might just yank that entire section and say, uh, say we're done with it. This section here, that, so this section here, this is a Minawasi. I think it's a Japanese Minawase um, radish. So this is not doing well. It's supposed to be a long, thin, white one. Here I have mixed radishes. And I think I managed to pull one or two out. Looks like there's, yeah, there's a decent one there. Let's take that one right now. Oh, that's an awesome one. That's a, that's a really cool one. Okay, so there's a couple of good ones in here. So I think I might be able to get some results. Now, out of this section, I've already cleared a whole bunch because I had... This is supposed to be called icicle radish, and it's a long white radish, and a few of these are actually forming up. The ones, there's a few, you know, three, I've left three in the bed here that they might not do anything. You can see the stem is elongated, they're bolting, so that I might not get anything more from that, but I'm going to leave them go for a little while longer because um, I did get kind of a nice result from them, sort of, you know, very similar to uh, very similar to this one, but white. Anyway, so I uh, I need to clear those out, and I've taken some greens from there. 
Over here is a section of, this is supposed to be arugula. I got a little bit of arugula coming out of here, right? It's all, it's all bolting. It immediately bolted very fast. Uh, but I was able to take some leaves off it, and the, the arugula I really like. I'm going to plant another batch of arugula. Uh, there's a couple columbine flowers growing up in here. You can see one, let's go over and take a closer look. You can see one blooming, very beautiful, just off the corner of my raised bed here. And I like to do that. I like to have various wildflowers and things growing in these cracks in the, in the hardscaping. So there's a columbine, and here's another few columbine growing up out of the arugula section, and I'm just gonna allow that. Um, here was a section of bok choy. The bok choy has all bolted, and again, these tips, that's just a snack for me as I harvest. Uh, here we have more mizuna. I didn't harvest from these sections at all. I filled my bowl and uh, still had these sections to go. This is mizuna here. This is more of that Japanese uh, as it's called, Japanese giant mustard. Uh, here's a section of beets, which I didn't get into, and then um, these sections aren't really intelligently planted. Here I've just randomly overseeded a lot of stuff, scattered a lot of stuff, and so there was lettuce coming up in here, there was mustard coming up in here. In places you can see, so this plant here, this is a wild, this is called garlic mustard. It's considered an invasive, but it's really nice. Um, so I allow it to volunteer wherever it wants in the yard here, and I try and harvest it. Just again, more, uh, more of these mustard greens, more mizuna, more lettuce plants. So I just came out here, I spent maybe half an hour collecting pretty aggressively whatever greens I could, and uh, filled my bowl and didn't quite clear all the sections. So that's pretty good result. I'm gonna have to, I think I will just do a big batch collect of this tatsoi. Um, not have it part of my salad greens, but just harvest that separately, uh, maybe stir fry it or something like that. And uh, then I can get a tomato into this section. So we'll just step back here. Early morning, this is the sunny section of the garden. Uh, sorry for shaking the camera, we'll see you in the next one.